Back on Inside Buck Sports with another Coach's Corner. And this week we get the pleasure of uh, Head Coach Dave Walker, the ETSU track field and cross country programs. And Coach, uh, well, it's, a, it's, it's another year in beautiful East Tennessee in the fall. And uh, you get to go run cross country, take your kids up in the hills and get them ready for another conference uh, season. Yeah, it's drawn to a, to a close again. Uh, we have a conference championships this weekend and the region championships uh, the weekend after that. And then we have nine days after that for the uh, championships uh, of the NCAA. Looking at your, your team makeup this year, of course, last several years you've kind of owned a dynasty in the Atlantic Sun with uh, your talented Kenyan runners. And now it seems like it's changed from the Kenyan dynasty to more of a European flavor with a lot of the young kids you're bringing in this season. Uh, yes, that was, that was strictly through necessity. Uh, I was having a little trouble uh, getting the Kenyans in, in school, and I said, well, I, I can't sit here and complain about it. I'm just going to have to go to my next contact, and uh, my assistant coach helped me on one, and uh, uh, actually uh, Coach Sunquist uh, helped me on the other one, so I really didn't do the recruiting, can't take, can't take credit for it, but uh, I'll take credit for getting them in shape. Uh, on both sides, we have uh, foreign students that uh, are rather good cross-country runners. And hopefully, we're back knocking at the door. Uh, there's four schools in the cross-country championship in Asong. Any one of those four could, could win. And uh, we're going to do our darndest to make sure that we're in a position to win if we can. Uh, it's... The, the trouble with the championship, it's not spread over two or three days where you can come back. They fire the gun, and I can't do anything about it. It's either there that day, or uh, you take a back seat and somebody else gets it. You and your coaching staff do your best to kind of get your athletes geared up over the course of the past couple of months. And early on, you went to Boone a few times. And on the men's side, you had Anders Ludvigsen from, from Denmark kind of shine through for you. Uh, yes. Uh, he's... He's actually a half miler that has the uh, the, uh, the brain power, sh shall we say, and and the legs to go and run good cross country. Also, uh, doesn't happen very often, uh, but uh, he's uh, he's a good one. And on the women's side, as we talked about on our program a couple weeks ago, uh, you have uh, uh, from Germany, Isabel Groskow ran an exceptional race at the Greater Louisville Classic, which I know is kind of one of the bigger regional meets. That gave you a chance to really see that she is one of your front runners on the women's side. Yes, uh, for a freshman, she is very, very good. And as she gets a little uh, mentally tougher, she's even, even going to be better. Uh, I keep telling her that that she's better than what she's shown us uh, simply from the workouts. But uh, uh, freshmen have a tendency to hang back a little bit to make sure that, uh, that they finish in good style, if you know what I mean. And coach, I think something that, uh, you know, none of the runners or your coaching staff or anybody else who knows about our program can discount is the quality of the training that they get around here. Sure, you've got those fall meets, but in between, you're running up into the mountains and around the region, and it's one of the best training grounds in the country. Yes, uh, we've had to change some of our, our workouts off of the roads because the backside of the campus now is not the countryside that it used to be. It's a lot of subdivisions and there's cars, cars, cars. And so we have expanded out into the uh, countryside a little bit further. And some of our workouts are a half an hour, you know, like maybe a half an hour away from campus. But it's a, it's a must and we have, to, we have to have it. And trained up and ready to go at the Atlantic Sun Conference Championships in Nashville this coming weekend. Coach Walker, thanks so much for joining us on the program. Best of luck to you and your program. Thanks, John. Appreciate being here. It's head coach Dave Walker of the cross country track and field programs. Plenty more from them as we move through the winter. Next up on the program, special feature coming up on Inside Buck Sports here on the Buccaneer Sports Network, Fox College Sports Atlantic.